back is at the live desk. And Heather, one of those officers shot and wounded that man. That man now identified by police just moments ago as 26-year-old Avery Ray. This all played out near the Meyer and Walmart stores on Portage Road in South Bend. Police were responding to a robbery alarm at the check-in to cash. When two officers pulled up, they saw a man running from the scene with a gun. That's when things got intense. Chase, uh, you know, foot pursuit, and uh, ordered uh, the man to stop and drop his weapon. Uh, just behind me here in this uh, wooded area, the man uh, turned and pointed his weapon at two South Bend police officers. That's when one of the South Bend police officers shot the suspect in the leg. He's at an area hospital now being treated, and Metro Homicide, of course, is going to uh, investigate this, uh, as we do with all uh, uh, police involved. Uh, use of force, deadly force encounters. Even though witnesses didn't want to go on camera, a few employees at the Dollar Tree say they heard gunshots. They also remember seeing a woman leave the store in a hurry around the time of the robbery to check on her daughter. She was next door during the robbery. Lieutenant Dave Wells says he's thankful the incident didn't turn out worse. It's always scary when uh, a police officer has to uh, use deadly force, but you know, uh, when you're confronted with uh, an armed uh, suspect, um, and somebody points a handgun at you, uh, it's a deadly force situation. So I'm just thankful and we're glad that uh, no policemen were hurt and no, and no civilians were hurt. And at this point, police have not identified the South Bend officers involved in the shooting. Ray was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Police are currently reviewing security camera footage from area businesses. They say a teller and a customer were both robbed at check-in to cash. At the live desk, Heather Black, WSBT 22 News.